In 2015, Kamehameha Hawaii finished 9-3 with a defense that pitched three straight shutouts in the midst of the regular season. And with a 24-0 goose egg win over Konawana, the Warriors looked ready to go forward and reconquer the BWIS Division II. But they fell just a bit short in the title game. So now, as we head towards the fall, the Navy and White aren't forgetting what happened, as they look to bring the crown back here to campus. This is Kamehameha Hawaii. And this is 16 in 16. It's been a long off season after the loss to Kona Waina in the BWIF title game, but the past is the past, and Kamehameha is already moving forward, worrying only about what they can control. In our room over there, there's a paper of Kona Waina. And it says never forget. So like I guess that's like just to motivate us to not let to fall short again. Just to just fight through. Cause that game I think people were just like this we were down already and so they they just gave up and they're over it. We have, a, we have a goal of we play the next play. Whatever just happened you can't change. Whether it's a a, a bad play, a missed block, a bad call, um, you can't change it, you know, and so we want to just play the next play. And I believe that every mistake that's made on the field is a coaching error. It means you didn't rep it enough and you didn't prepare them enough because there's not any kid on our team that's intentionally making a mistake. But when those things happen, it means you didn't rep it enough. And so that's really what a game is. Game is a final exam or maybe it's a midterm exam, but it's an exam that tells us where we're at and what we got to work on. And so that's the approach we'll take is that we're going to make mistakes. We're going to correct them and we'll see where we get to. This season, the Warriors will be testing out a new offense. With the loss of several multi-year O-line starters to graduation, the boys of KL campus are looking to rebuild in the trenches while switching to a pass-first mentality. Doing the slinging will be sophomore Kaimi Like, who had some playing time in the BWIF title game, throwing for 89 yards and two touchdowns. It's been kind of hard because like, just thinking of like telling the older kids what to do. So like, I haven't really been doing it, but then I started to like do it because they believe in me, like they told me that, they trusted me. And all we gotta do is my job and then they got my back on defense and offense. I don't care that he's a sophomore. He's expected to take control of the offense. He's gotta be vocal and he's gotta be loud and he's gotta be in control and that's what we expect from him. And you know, do we have that right now? No, he's a little quiet and you know, he, he's gotta learn, but um, he's got two more years to learn that. So, I mean, we're excited about where he's at. I think he's gonna have a great year. I think you'll see his, you know, empty sets a lot more, but I think we still know that we have to establish a run. You know, so we're working with our linemen and we don't have a lot of them, but I think, uh, I think they'll come along. I think Abby Shai Campbell and Elijah Campbell and uh, Israel Bowden and, and I'm probably missing a whole bunch of guys, you know, but uh, Kilo uh, Hassan Ritter and Makana Manoa and uh, Noah Carvalho and, you know, there's a whole bunch of guys um, that, that we expect great things from. Um, you know, we'll see those guys placed all over the field, I think. You know, you'll see them at wideouts, you'll see them at slot, you'll see them in the backfield. Um, but we got to get our skill guys the, the ball. Kamehameha lost some key seniors on the defensive side. But now to look towards defensive lineman Nainoa Rosehill and linebacker Wayne DeCalio to anchor the team. It does, yeah, it creates a kind of a vacuum when we lose, like, essential seniors. But I think... Spaces will always be filled, and it doesn't matter who you are. I think if you're willing to fill the space that was left, you have you know what what kind of effort it takes to replace the hole that has been left. You should get the spot if you're willing to work for it. Yeah, we have um, Nainoa. He's gonna be a good D line contributor, and then we have our two ends, Cedric Mahi and Brendan Figueroa, and then we have our other linebackers. We have Ethan Ramos. He's also a senior, and all the other guys are just younger guys. Yeah, there's a lot of responsibility. I'm in charge of calling the plays and straightening up the team when they're like not in place and stuff. I'm not a talkative, um, talkative leader. I'm like I lead, um, lead by example. With the fall soon approaching, the Warriors are ready for another season of battling it out in the BWIF. Oh, I think it just comes with trial and error. We try things out, but if they don't work, cut them out. If they do work, and just stick to that. I think our mindset is that 
to learn how to work and to prepare and um, to just try to get better every day. I know that's like sounds like coach speak, but the reality of it is that's what you have to do. And I anticipate having a great season because we have great guys. And to me, that's the value. I know from my athletic career, those are the things I remember. Um, I don't necessarily remember the wins and losses as much, but I do remember the people and I remember the relationships. If we come out as champion, that's awesome. But if not, it's going to be awesome too. Can the Warriors come out with a championship? Kamehameha Hawaii begins their season August 6th with a road game at Waikea. Spencer Honda, scoringlive.com.